The last part of solving with exponential logarithmic equations is exponential models. So this is where functions come in and we will be looking at exponential models meaning exponential functions and solve and see how they apply to our real world. So the most common one is half-life, especially with exponential models. Um, half-life just means how long does it take to reach half of the original amount? The half-life for thorium-227 is 18.72 days. The amount A in grams after T years for a 10 gram sample is given by A of T equal 10 times 0.5 to the T divided by 18.72. So the T over 18.72 is the exponent, 0.5 is the base, and 10 is a coefficient of all of this. It is not attached to the half. They are totally entirely separate. How long will it take before nine grams of thorium-227 is left in the sample? Okay, so how long, meaning if I have a variable A as the amount, T as in years, how long implies that I am looking for T? So if, I, if I'm looking for T and I don't know T, then don't plug anything in for T. We're going to be solving for T. But they do give us the amount in grams. And the amount in grams is 9. So I'm going to replace the entire left side of my function with 9, because that's the amount I'm looking for. And this is going to be equal to 10 times 0.5 to the T over 18.72. So the first thing I want to do, as I did before, is isolate the exponential part. This I need to isolate. So in order to do that, I have a coefficient of 10. I can easily isolate the exponential part by dividing each side by 10. And so I get 9 tenths equal to 0.5 to the t over 18.72. So now that I have isolated my exponential part, real number on the other side, the next step was to rewrite in logarithmic form. Meaning that if I have log of base half of the value 9 tenths equal to the exponent t over 18.72. Again, this is an exponential form. Equivalently, this is the logarithmic form. So I can easily solve for t here by multiplying each side by 18.72, since it's in the denominator. So then I get, on the left side, 18.72 times log of base 0.5 of 9 tenths equal to t. So this is the exact form, but what you have to realize with models, especially with something like half-lives in a chemical, is that we don't usually say, oh, how long is it going to take? Mm, about 18.72 log base half of 9 tenths years. We don't say that. If we wanted to tell our anybody the number of years, what we would do is actually get an approximate value from our calculator. So with exponential models, it's a little bit nicer because you get approximate values only because it's a model, it's real life, and it's really essentially how you would just talk to somebody in conversation. I would not say this to my grandma if I was talking about years in, gradu um, in conversation, but I could put this in the calculator and get an approximate value. So I would have 18.72, and I'm going to go ahead and use the cob on this part. 
and get times log of 9 tenths all over log of a half. And that should give me the number of years it would take for thorium-227 to, thorium to reach 9 grams. Okay. So let's go ahead and have 18.72 times log of 9 tenths, close your parentheses, divided by log of a half, close your parentheses, and I get 2.845, and I can cut it off. Mm, if I'm talking about years and and especially in conversation, I would say probably round to the tenths place, unless it was asked if to round any other way than you follow directions. But if it doesn't say, I would just say 2.8. 2.8 years. Okay. So therefore, it would take about because we approximated, we have to say about 2.8 years for thorium-227 to reach 9 grams. 